get to the news. President Biden has reportedly been telling aides in private that he no longer recognizes the Republican Party and views them as an existential threat to democracy. Oh, good, you're all caught up. <laughs> this is like when you watch three episodes of a show and you have to wait for your partner to watch them before you can move to episode four. I <laughs> hope I can remember what's going on. It's been like a year. President Biden spoke today in Buffalo and called on Congress to pass new gun control laws. Also today, a tree fell in the forest. <laughs> in a new interview, Dr. Anthony Fauci criticized the Trump administration's handling of the coronavirus pandemic and said it, quote, wasn't optimal, which is kind of like saying the Hindenburg experienced a flight delay. In a new interview, Supreme Court Justice designate Katanji Brown Jackson said the reality show Survivor is the best show ever. Well, at least you're prepared for votes to not go your way. <laughs> Sweden announced yesterday it will apply to join NATO. Wow, first Finland, now Sweden. It seems like every day we're learning about another country we could have sworn was already in NATO. <laughs> The CDC this week advised domestic travelers to get tested for the coronavirus no more than three days before their trip. Incidentally, three days before the trip is also when your dad thinks you should get to the airport. Because there might be traffic. I'm not crazy. There's been traffic before. McDonald's announced yesterday it would completely exit the Russian market, and that's not the only way they're showing their support for Ukraine. Surprised. I, I don't know why that one was the one. <laughs> Are you upset that, like, that Grimace got painted? <laughs> Do you guys know he's supposed to be a taste bud? <laughs> I swear I just found out. It's disgusting, but there you go. <laughs> I'm just thrown. Police in Washington State over the weekend said that they had obtained video of an Arby's manager urinating into the restaurant's milkshake machine. The manager did that? Come on, man, you gotta learn to delegate. <laughs> really, I don't think there's been a single piece of good news in tonight's monologue. <laughs> I know you were bummed out by Grimace, but I got some good news. People are pissing in the Arby's machines. <laughs> According to the latest numbers, the new 28-step staircase that opened yesterday at the Times Square subway station cost $30 million. Well, at least they finally addressed the complaint that no one had about the subway. <laughs> I don't mind the delays. I just wish the steps were fancier. <laughs> I like the rats. <laughs> I just want new steps. And finally, it was announced yesterday that The Masked Singer will return for an eighth season because they need somewhere to put all the people too embarrassing for Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> President Biden spoke yesterday in Buffalo and called for an end to white supremacy. Well, good luck with that. You've been in Washington a year and a half, and so far the only thing Congress has gotten rid of is daylight saving time. <laughs> now that we took care of that, move on to white supremacy. <laughs> We crushed daylight saving time, I mean. <laughs> President Biden yesterday warned that democracy is in danger, even scarier in a ransom note. <laughs> Former President Trump recently announced he's writing a book titled The Crime of the Century about the alleged voter fraud in the 2020 presidential election. Look for it in your bookstore's tantrum section. Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman won last night's Democratic Senate primary. Pretty impressive for a guy who looks like a character from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. <laughs> He'll now go on to face Soda Popinski in the general. <laughs> North Carolina Representative Madison Cawthorn last night lost his Republican primary. Hopefully, he'll learn his lesson. Next time you get invited to a cocaine orgy, just go. <laughs> 
<laughs> British Prime Minister Boris Johnson recently called for Britons to return to work in person and said that his experience working from home included walking to the fridge and, quote, hacking off a small piece of cheese, then forgetting what he's doing. <laughs> well, if it helps, you're supposed to be serving as prime minister. <laughs> Seems like that job's big enough that a little piece of cheese shouldn't throw you off it. <laughs> In a recent interview, Labor Secretary and former Boston Mayor Marty Wall said that Dunkin' Donuts tasted different on a recent trip to South Korea, said Biden, you know that's not why we sent you, right? <laughs> Here's the report on the Dunkins. <laughs> According to a new poll, one in three Americans say that the coronavirus pandemic is over. Unfortunately, he's sitting between the other two. <laughs> Great, between a couple of sheep. Archaeologists in Laos recently discovered an ancient tooth thought to have belonged to an extinct human species that was lodged in a cave wall. Experts believe their last words were, not cake. <laughs> he, uh, he thought, <laughs> so to work backwards, he thought the wall was cake. <laughs> and then he, he, then he bit it and died. And finally, the energy drink company Red Bull last weekend held its World Paper Airplane Championship while Four Loco launched its first annual Squid Games. <laughs> Former President George W. Bush spoke about Russia last night at an event in Dallas and had quite the Freudian slip. The decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq, I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Oof. That's like your wife asking if you're hungry and saying, I could cheat. I mean, eat. I could eat with my mistress. Ah! <laughs> President Biden yesterday launched a program that activates military aircraft to import baby formula from abroad, said the French, white or red. Health Secretary Xavier Becerra tested positive yesterday for the coronavirus. Wow, the health secretary, that's embarrassing. That's like finding out the transportation secretary got hit by a train. <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> President Biden yesterday formally endorsed Finland and Sweden's application to join NATO, though if it's anything like his past endorsements, it probably hurt more than it helped. According to a new report, the Secret Service is currently providing protection for 33 people in the Biden administration or family, as opposed to Trump, where his administration was his family. <laughs> Elon Musk tweeted yesterday, quote, political attacks on me will escalate dramatically in coming months, and based on his previous predictions, this can only mean that political attacks on him will stop completely. Health officials in Massachusetts announced yesterday that they have identified the first case of monkeypox in the country. But don't worry, it can be easily cured with, uh, oh, baby formula, damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> the 75th Cannes Film Festival began this week and included a live video message from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, but this is weird. It was just, please don't text during the movie. <laughs> a two-year-old boy in Texas recently ordered 31 cheeseburgers from McDonald's through the delivery app DoorDash while playing with his mom's phone. To be fair, in Texas, that's just one button. <laughs> and finally, the makers of Hot Pockets have unveiled a new line of cheese and cold-cut sandwiches called Deli Witches that can be eaten hot or cold, as opposed to Hot Pockets, which are always a mix of both. And that was a monologue, everybody!